In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a combined RSS feed from several RSS feeds, and we're going to combine them into one and then display that one feed in a widget using a thing called Blastcaster. So what I want to do is go to a website, first of all, called Feed Combine, which is feedcombine.co.uk. And this is the website here. So what I'm going to do is in the top right corner here, where it says make a feed with our quick pick boxes, I'm going to choose more options. And so that takes us onto this page. Now in my windows, I've automatically got the education feed from the Guardian. And I've got the page that's got the Times Higher Ed feeds. And I've got the BBC News feeds as well coming in there. Um, I'll quickly show you how I would get to that. If I do a Google search for BBC Education, I can go to the, the page and then up in the top right corner here, you've got something that says RSS in this little icon. When you click on that page, it takes you through to this page, which is the RSS feed. And what you would do is you'd use this URL at the top here to create your feed. So we'll go to the first page, which is the Guardian RSS feed. Now I just want to copy that link that's there. Right, li right click and copy and then back into my feed combiner website I'm going to paste that in as the first feed and I'm going to do that for the same for the other ones the times higher ed I think I'll take the news so I can copy this URL here so I can right click on it and copy link, lo link location And so there's my the same address in there that was across there. And here's the BBC one. So I'm going to right click and copy. And again, paste that into there. So we've got three different RSS feeds here. And it's we're going to get that to come into one RSS feed. Down the bottom here, we've got a few options. Um, I tend to just leave these as they are. As they are. We've, we'll have five entries for each feed. I will just click on here and say go to feed. Okay, so here's our overall uh, RSS feed that we've created. We can see the URL at the top here is feedcombine.co.uk feed PHP ID and then a big long list of numbers and letters. We can just again copy this into our clipboard so we can use it later when we create our widget. So that's what we're going to create now. We're going to create a widget that will hold these RSS feeds and display them in a nice manner. So if we go to a website that says blastcaster.com and you should come through to this site and we want to click build a widget that's up in the left here. Okay. So the way this website works is we put in our details down the left hand side here and then it'll display the RSS feed at the minute. So at the minute it's just got the standard BBC News headlines in the RSS but we want to paste our URL that we've created earlier. So if we paste that in there you'll see it's now loading here and this is now our URL so we've got all the different feeds coming into here. So we can now change the settings as well. So I'm going to maybe change the height of it and the site, the width of it. I'm going to make the width, let's say, 600 and the height 300. And I'm going to change some of these settings. So I'll take the summary off. Take the copyright off. Shall I keep the date on? I'll take the date off. And you can see the top right corner here. It's redoing all these with according to the settings that we've done, according to the settings we've chosen. So if I actually want to add the summary, you'll see the summary all gets added in there. But I'll take that out because it's quite big, the summary is there. Okay, open links in the same window or a new window. I want to put this inside my Moodle course and I don't want the students to be totally taken away from Moodle. So I'm going to click new window. So if they click one of these links to find out about the news item, it'll take them into a separate window to look at the website. And because I'm doing it in Moodle, I can click this box to say inherent styles from your web page styles and that'll actually take the style from Moodle and so there's our different links there. We would then take this script here and copy this 
and we can now put these into different web pages. Okay, I'm going to go into my Moodle course now. Now the way this works is just you've got to do a little bit of tinkering before you can get this to work properly on your site. What you need to do first of all is update your profile and change your profile slightly. So if you click on update profile, make sure your advanced options are open. So if you have a, a button in the top right corner here that says show advanced, you need to click on that so you get extra options down here. And what you need to do is where it says when editing text, if you've got a thing that says use HTML editor, you need to change that to use standard web forms. And once you've done that, you can scroll down and click update profile. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my site Okay, so I want to now put this RSS feed into, I'm going to put it into my summary at the top there. So if I turn my editing on and choose the pen icon there to edit the summary of the site, and what I can do there, I can paste the code that we got earlier from Blastcaster. So this is all this code that we took from this site here, all this code in here. And I can save the changes there. I can see there in the top of my uh, topic of my course now have all the the different uh, headings from the RSS feed coming in. So I can click on any of these links as a student and it'll take me away to the website relevant to that. So that's one from the Times Higher Ed RSS feed that we added in. This RSS feed will also be completely up to date. So if I log in tomorrow, there'll be different links in here. And if I log in the next day, and again, it'll be different links. It'll be up to date links. It pulls in the links from the websites um, when the user logs in to, to have a look at it. And that's how to create a combined RSS feed um, using Feed Combine and create a widget using Blastcaster and then add it into a Moodle site.